In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create Azure DevOps pipeline without using .ml file. So here I will navigate to the ADO. So let's create a quickly one pipeline without using .ml file. So you need to click on the pipelines. Then we can click on the new pipeline. And here you need to click on the use the classic editor link. And here you need to make sure that you are selecting the appropriate project and repository and branch. Then we have to click on the continue button. And here we have to click on the empty job. And here we have to add the three tasks. So let's add the very first task. So you need to click on this plus icon to add the tasks. So firstly, we will install the Node.js. So Playwright supports for the Node.js version 16 or above 16 version. So here I'll say Node.js. So simply you can type just Node. And here you can select the Node.js tool installer. So click on add button. So here we have added the Node.js. Select the that particular task. And here we have to specify the Node.js version. So as I said, we have to install Node.js 16 version or above 16 version. So here I will add the 16 version. That is enough. And now let's add the second task. That is command line task. So simply click on the plus icon here. Type for command. So if you type command, so here, so we will get the command line tasks. Simply click on add. So we have to install the NPM and also we have to install the Playwright browsers by using the command line script. So here firstly, I will give the display name as installations. And here we have to write the command to install the npm so i will write the command called npm install and i want to install the playwright browsers so here i will write npx followed by playwright and followed by install so this particular command will install the playwright browsers so after adding the node.js task and command line tasks which contains the commands that, that is nothing but. So we are going to perform the precondition actions within the command line script. Now, so we have to invoke the particular command which we have added in the our repository. So here I, I will go to the repository. So here I will say leave. And if I go to the my repository, and here I will open the package.json file. And if you look at the line number 6, 7, and 8. So here I have written a simple command. By using this command, I am running my playwright test. So here we have to invoke the this particular command by using the key as test. So let's add the one task called npm. So by using that npm, so we will invoke this particular command. So here I will go to the again pipeline and I will click on the plus icon to add the another task. So simply you can type the npm here. And here we will get the npm task. So let's add the npm task here. So here we have to add the display name. So here I'll say run tests. And for command, we have to select the custom. And also we have to provide the where exactly we have the package.json file. So simply you need to click on this particular icon. And simply we have to say the link. And also here also you can simply click on the link. That's it. Now, so we want to invoke this particular command by using this particular key. So we have the key name as test and to invoke that particular command, 
so we have to use the command called run followed by the key name so simply i'm adding the test here that's it so after adding the node.js task command line script task that will execute the precondition and we have to add the npm task so i will go to the, this particular command line task and i will add the current working directory here so for this working directory simply click on this particular icon and simply link the current work working directory here that's it guys so we are done with creating the pipeline now so let's save the pipeline so here i will choose the save and queue so here i'll say simply test as a command and i'll choose the agent as well that's it and make sure that you are selecting the appropriate branch here and i will click on the save and run so i will open the job here so firstly it is running the initialize job then it is checking the environment and we have installed the node.js and right now we are installing the npm and also we are trying to install the playwright browsers so it will take few seconds to install the npm also so we need to install the playwright browsers here so right now it is adding the all the browsers so currently it is adding chromium firefox and webkit browser also after adding the browsers so it should run the our automation test so right now it is running the playwright test so it contains one ui test and one api test total test count is two so it will take few seconds because one ui test it will take around 20 to 25 seconds and second test that is the api test that will take around five seconds or maybe less than the five seconds also and that's it guys so we are done with executing the playwright test and if you look at here so total test is two those are getting passed right and if you look at the build also our build is success so this is how you can create the azure devops pipeline without using the dot ml file